This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency, with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office, I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency, with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. See that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? Everything I got will keep you safe. I've got a few minutes to browse. Feel free to test the grips. Well, hey there. Been a long time. How you holding up? Nick. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're doing all right. It's hard without Gwen, but it's easier every day. Yeah, that's real good to hear. Well, I just wanted to check in. If you ever need anything, you stop by the office. Sure, you got it. Thanks, Nick. Need some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes, barrels.
Don't be caught dead. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry.
run some diagnostics while you're tinkering. Take your time. Valentine, huh? Good for you. Look at good people. I you know it. I hear there's a bar in the old field. We're having a sale on food. Let's see what you have.
Nothing to see here. Thirsty, Nuka Cola. Miss Perkins. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Who's our client? A fisherman whose family lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry. Like, he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. So is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Because I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. Hey, whatever floats your boat, Gumshoe. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. You read that article? In public occurrences? Damn sense can be angry. Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah, I knew he wasn't gonna go quietly the moment I saw him. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. 
You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. What exactly do we need, Nick? Kellogg's brain. It's a long shot, but Dr. Amari just might be able to get it jump-started. See what the old Merc knew. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this... this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Anything else you can tell me about the memory den? It's in Good Neighbor, a little slice of trouble northeast of ways. The memory den ain't just a fancy name, it's literal. A lot of people give up all their caps just to relive the good parts of their lives. Over and over. But not us. We're going to try to dive deep into someone else's mind. I can meet you there, or we can head out together. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Need something? Hey. What? You know, the Institute has a lot of enemies. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The Railroad still does. I've even got some notes on these new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. You said something about the Railroad? Supposedly, they help runaway synths escape the Institute, but they're secretive. Ultra paranoid. The only thing I have is a rumor. A, a code phrase. Follow the Freedom Trail. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to give the Institute a run for their money, but they're... Let's just say they have their own agenda. Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know, they're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army, dedicated to protecting friends, family, and neighbors. Sounds soft, but they were a real thing at one point. We should get going. All right. If you're looking to keep your load light, we can shoot them. Sure. But something for... Uh -huh.
somewhere else, huh? Hey. Point the way. Probably have something you can use. No. These weren't here. Wait, are those Brotherhood markings? <clears throat> Paladin Dance is waiting for you inside, recruit. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. After rolling that thing in, you've certainly started a war. You're right. There's no way this doesn't just lead to more death. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. Besides, why should we hold back when we have something like that at our disposal? That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. I hope this means you're ready to head back out there. If it looks dead, put one more in its head for good measure. Why take the chance? anything hostile during the flight. I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps to fire on the local.
Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Max will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. I wish everyone down there believed in our cause. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. soldier this is the moment when everything changes i hope you're ready Mission granted. Welcome back, Bill. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted her to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor her entry into our rank as personal. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridman and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? What exactly is your mission here? I'm not at liberty to say. Elder Maxon will be addressing the crew shortly, and I'm certain all of your questions will be answered. Now, was there anything else, or was everything I said understood? Not even a hint? 
Come on, I deserve it. Look, all I can tell you is that we're here directly in response to the data that Dance's recon team provided us. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait until Elder Maxon addresses the crew. Now dispense with the questions. It's time to get to work. Understood? That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Yeah, where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Hey. Just let me know. You hungry? These always keep me going. Your thoughts? Have any more questions about the Institute's enemies, Blue? We should get going. All right. Hey there. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. Ad victorium. There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes... that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Only a knight? Why not a paladin, like Dance? The Brotherhood maintains a strict hierarchy, organized by rank. 
Paladin is several ranks above Knight, and it took Dance many years to achieve that goal. With your continued loyalty to the Brotherhood, I'm certain you can attain the same. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Engine turbines at 87% efficiency. Certainly seen better days, hasn't it? Trying to minimize reactor jitter, adjusting the pressure rate. Hey. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. I believe you're needed elsewhere right now. We can talk later. <clears throat> if you find any technical documents, you should bring them to Proctor Quinlan for analysis. Like that? Now split the difference. There? Now half that. Do you want to do it? No, no. I think you've almost got it. That's it. Thank you, Scribe. Yep. Yeah. Oh god. Mole rat on a stick was a really bad idea. Excuse me. If Elder Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell, I'd be the first one. Ammunition or weapon mods. Dr. Tegan Nothing might have what good. you need. Carry on, Knight. Hey. Have you ever fired a minigun? Chews through ferals like paper. Excuse me. Don't let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. The Commonwealth's a dangerous place. Make sure you gear up before you head out. I believe we're due for a bit of a chat after you've spoken to Elder Maxon and Paladin Dance. I'll administer your exam after you've checked in with Dance and Elder Maxim.
So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Joining our cause was the wisest decision of your life, sister. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just... what if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing! Everything holding together? Trust me. You'd know. Good. Uh... firing! All right, all right. Everything looks nominal. And you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. Heads up. Shoot. Piper, talk to me. Your thoughts? Need a countdown on the Institute's favorite people? We should get going. All right. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it... I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. I prefer laser weapons myself. It's a cleaner shot and leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. Damn ferals. Radiation has a twisted sense of humor. One heck of a get up, Blue. Heads up. You say the word. What's going on? Your thoughts? Have any more questions about the Institute's enemies, Blue? We should get going. All right. Hail, Knight. Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxim? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology, but when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. 
So, what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Oh man, if I'm late for muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. experience hot shots and big mouths end up with closed casket funerals If it was up to me, I'd take every feral, mutie, and scent and shoot Salisbury steak is mine.
you plan on using your robot powers for good. Look alive. Hmm? Uh-huh. Look alive. What can I do? Over here. Of course. Where to? Hey, Piper. Cap for your thoughts? I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. 